I'll tell you, when you compare the experiences back in the day versus now, there's a huge difference. Which experiences do you think are better? Hey there, NJRoot22.com with a little uh, general interest uh, vlog today, and this is about experiences. As you can see in the picture behind me is a photo of a rainbow we had um, earlier this summer. And I don't take pictures of rainbows, but I took pictures this time because I wanted to make a video about it. So this was, I just wanted to have an original background that uh, I, don't, I don't take pictures of rainbows. Um, back in the day, we, we, we grew up with seeing rainbows all the time. And it was, it was more of an experience and just a personal moment of just looking at it and just looking at the sky and examining it and feeling it and just noticing the weather. It wasn't anything that you had to document or prove to anybody. We didn't have a camera uh, on hand. Um, I like to say it's uh, the le we had the lens called our eyes and the memory card called our brains. Um, and most of the time when you saw a rainbow, you either just appreciated it in general. It was like a fleeting moment. They don't last more than, you know, five or ten minutes at the most. And if you're lucky, you got to share it with somebody with you, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, kids, family, friends, what have you. Um, it was just a nice time to just sit there and look at it. Um, it. It was really cool, especially the more more pronounced rainbows are really nice. You know, it, was, it was nothing more and nothing less. It was just a rainbow. You got to see it for a few minutes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And then you went on with your, your uh, day or evening or life or whatever. Now, what I noticed today is that today when there's a rainbow, and especially if you're out in public and there's a rainbow, it's here in the shopping, uh, the parking lot, the um, mall or whatever, supermarket. This is before the crisis. And there was a lot of people out. But if there was like a nice rainbow, like everybody would stop what they were doing. They would whip out their cameras, you know, cell phones. And they, they would be like hundreds of people in just your little area. And if, if like 100,000 people saw it, let's say in the, in the New Jersey area, they would all take pictures of it and instantly, collectively uh, take pictures and upload the photo, uh, possibly with even an enhancing filter. To their social media channels of choice, sometimes one, two, three, or five or more channels. Look, I saw a rainbow, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And then they might even get creative and add a quote or something and, and blessings or what have you. Um, so it's, they're basically so eager to post this and uh, share to everybody. And since every, thousands of people are sharing what used to be an individual moment collectively, um, I'm kind of asking, like, do you see what's happening? It's like, a beautiful individual moment by yourself or with some people, a few people here and there, is pretty much being ruined by uh, these technological advances. Um, it, it becomes just this one big, everybody did it and saw it. And then at that point, um, and also, you know, the meme, oh, if you didn't take a picture, it didn't happen. That's what people think these days. You can't tell a like an interesting story. Oh man, imagine what happened. I mean, can, can you believe what happened to me yesterday or what I saw? And you tell a story and if you're a good storyteller, you can, you can set it up and have a really funny ending to it. Um, the storytelling is over. It's now, it's just a, a 15 second piece of effort with a digital camera and you send it down. So that's basically what life's boiled down to. It's a, uh, AI driven photo filters and digital likes. Oh, I got 50 likes. Oh, this guy got 200 likes on his rainbow. And it's like this whole unnecessary new world. Um, and they compete to who can have the nicest photo or the best angle. And then you get photographers that, that are really good at taking pictures of rainbow. It's like, let the rainbow be, just experience it, man. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really do think it's unnecessary. Um, then this is why we take a lot of pride in holding our ground when it comes to sharing moments uh, over and over and over and over again. And I'd rather um, keep those moments to myself because I think it's a thousand times more beautiful when you just keep it to yourself and, and appreciate for what it is in your own body and your own soul. You don't need affirmation or, or approval from anybody to have a happy moment uh, by yourself or with uh, your loved ones. So that's it. Have a great day. If you liked the video, please hit like, uh, the subscribe and the bell and all that, and I'll see you next video.